What's up, everybody? This is Peter again for Sports Hot Rumors and Debates, guys. How are you? Guys, thank you so much for all these subscribers. Again, I'm up to 260, and it's getting every day two, three more, and I love you guys for it. Thank you. But today, we are going to talk about something, honestly, that everybody can't seem to stop talking about, okay? We are going to put baseball, football, we're going to put everything aside for today, and we're going to talk about that Michael Jordan and the last dance, because this is just all over, I mean, everywhere. So let's get into this, okay? If you are alive during the Michael Jordan era and you are saying, I can't believe this, you either one, didn't watch basketball or Michael Jordan, or two, have, are on another planet and are moron. Michael Jordan, let's put it this way, Michael Jordan is the best of all time. Yes, in basketball, but there's a reason people who play golf or anything, you're like, he's the Michael Jordan of that. Because Michael Jordan is what that is, the greatest, right? There's Babe Ruth, there's Wayne Gretzky, but when you think of anything, you think of Michael Jordan. There's a reason there are kids that never watch Michael Jordan are buying his sneakers, right? Jordan will always be relevant for so many years because he is the greatest. But what made him the greatest was he don't give a shit about anything. He challenged, he'll bet you, which probably to a little bit of a fault for him, but that man is so competitive and kind of a prick. Let's be honest. He knows he's a dick. He will only do things when he has to. If it benefits Michael Jordan, if it's profitable, or if it makes his name there. He will not... How many times have you seen him either push an autograph aside or just not give a shit? Because Mike, you have to put your... Try to put yourself in Michael Jordan's shoes for two seconds. This man during that time was pretty much God. Right? If you'd have watched the first thing, look at him when he goes to friend. This guy cannot be stopped. He, everybody, every kid, everybody is just fixated on this man because he was that great. There, who goes away for a couple of years and comes back and wins three more championships? Like, never missed a beat. This man, that's why it goes crazy when they compare LeBron to him. LeBron's not even close. Now, listen, is Michael Jordan and LeBron? Yeah, LeBron makes everybody better. But Michael Jordan don't need to make everybody better. Michael Jordan will win it. <laughs> you understand? This is what made Michael Jordan. So many, some of his teammates are furious. Some of, this is what this is. This is not a documentary. A lot of this are probably a little bit of fiction in there. He wants to sell, right? They want to sell. They wanted you to be interested. Mission accomplished. Everybody's talking about Michael Jordan right now. Everybody's talking about this. Why is it bothering people so much? Why are you shocked by this? This is who he is. He don't like you, you're gone. You talk shit about him, he'll play you. You watch videos of him practicing with younger guys. I remember OJ Mayo talking a little shit to him. This man in his 40s took that shit seriously. Right? He took it seriously. He will challenge you. He will challenge a kid. The guy who reminds me of him a lot was Kobe Bryant. Like, they don't like that. This is what makes them amazing. Yes, maybe they're a little bit of a dick. Yeah, maybe he's a little bit of... So what? This is what you enjoyed. And if you were around during the Michael Jordan time, I mean, this is what made this guy amazing. Nothing was crazy. I was a Seattle Supersonic fan back in the day. I was the biggest Sean Kemp fan as a kid. And I never forget playing them. And I'm just like, holy shit, this guy. Right? And even when Utah was playing them, I was rooting for Malone and Stockton because I wanted somebody to beat Jordan. But at the end, you're just like, how could you not be amazed by him? This guy was that great. So why is everybody talking now that, oh, this was a mistake, this guy's lying, this guy's this, this, was, this wasn't this was a pizza thing, the pizza delivery guy now starts complaining. He, they're gonna talk, they're gonna sell. Michael Jordan's sneakers now are selling just as much, if not more, back in the day, probably more. Michael Jordan is the greatest of anything that you're ever going to mention, okay? The only guys, again, Muhammad Ali, Wayne Gretzky, Babe Ruth, these are the names that will be are like kind of like the Mount Rushmore of sports, right? Michael Jordan, roll them all in together. The most competitive guy you've ever met. Probably one of the biggest douchebags ever, right? Anytime you get such a big head that way, anytime people are all over you, bothering you for an autograph and everything, what do you expect from him? Could you imagine being him walking down the street if you can walk? This guy was like, if you ever watched the Beatles back in the day, this guy couldn't move. So everybody wants an autograph. Sign this, sign this, do this, do this. Yeah, he's going to be a prick. Did he? Why did he get in all of his teammates' faces? Of course, he's challenging them. 
He wants them to be better. Yeah, you know what? Maybe it looks bad. Maybe he's going to fight you. Maybe he's going to do... So what? Who cares? This is what it takes sometimes to bring things out of people. Sometimes you got to get uncomfortable to get comfortable. If you're playing with Jordan, this is what he did in practices. Nobody is shocked by this. Why is everybody coming out now and acting like this is like some crazy thing? This is what it is. Michael Jordan, to me, he's just not only the greatest player, but he's such a great businessman. He knows how to sell, right? This guy's the best salesman. If you remember, his, remember see the, the first documentary when he's talking about it. He's saying about business, it's a profitable for the Bulls, profitable. He was using this word profitable at such a young age. He knew he had a mind already for this. He wanted to be great. Listen, LeBron James, he is probably the closest when it comes to mentality of being great, right? But nobody is Jordan, right? Everybody is following Michael Jordan. Everybody's trying to, that's why they're like, is he the next Jordan? Is Kobe the next Jordan? Is D-Wade, Kawhi, LeBron? Nobody is Jordan. Nobody ever will be. Michael Jordan is in a thing of his own. Would the Bulls have beat the Golden State Warriors? Yes. Michael Jordan was so tough. Do you understand? Mike, it took a dick, a prick, whatever you want to say, to be Michael Jordan. He wanted this so bad. He wanted to be great. So why is everybody shocked that this guy would do whatever it takes to make a, a, a documentary, to do whatever it takes to get to the next level? Why are you shocked by this? Right? Yeah, maybe it looks a little bit. And anybody who said, oh my God, you know what? Stop. The only people that I can see have a right to be frustrated is maybe his teammates, if he bullshit or something like that. But anybody else, get away. Stop. You know, you enjoy to watch the greatest player. Let me tell you, man, as much as I say to myself, Oh, man, I hate him for winning those titles against Seattle and then beating Utah. I wish Stockton and Malone had one. I got to watch probably, I don't know who's going to come along, but it still hasn't come. I got to watch the greatest player ever, right? Same thing for sports, excuse me, baseball. You watch Barry Bonds, and yeah, he did steroids, and believe me, I hated him because I'm a Dimeback fan. But I mean, when do you get to see that? When are you going to get to see a man rip the ball the way he did, Right? Hockey, when are you going to get to say you've seen Wayne Gretzky? When do you get to see say you've seen these type of things? Muhammad Ali, the greatest boxer ever, right? I mean, I didn't get to watch Rocky Marciano, but the greatest boxer, Muhammad Ali. When are you going to get a chance to say you've seen Muhammad Ali? I wish I did when I was a kid. I wish I was around to see him in his prime. So, you know, it was great to be in the 80s and 90s to watch these guys. You know, I got the privilege to watch an amazing Kobe Bryant. And to me, he was the closest thing to Michael Jordan. The closest. He wasn't Jordan, but let me tell you, if if he wasn't the closest, I don't know what is. He duplicated the way Jordan played. He tried to make it his own a little bit, but he got it off of Michael, right? Now the closest is Kawhi to me. When it comes to scoring, mid-range jumpers, Kawhi is right there. He has that turnaround. He has great defense, big hands. He can shoot. Right. That's Michael to me, right? LeBron is a great teammate, right? He makes everybody better. But let me tell you, LeBron talks shit to his team. He calls them out in public. He says things and things that are not right. But why does he do that? To me, I don't agree with it, but sometimes he's doing that to challenge them. He needs to do that. That's what he does. That's what great players have to do. Stop talking shit about Michael. Greatest ever. Let me know what you guys think. Talk to you soon. Bye.